Let's go win this. Let's go. So today our game plan is simple. We're gonna duel. We're gonna win. Simple. And you especially gonna lose. Are you gonna destroy everyone today? Yes, including you. Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, we'll see. We'll see. Mr. Cherry Reaper Gaming. Are you going to obliterate everyone today with your secret deck? I saw the deck. And it's low key, like arguably the best deck in the world after mine. I'm saying is I had McDonald's before this. My digestive system is mutant. So maybe that's uh, <laughs> a little hint as to what I'm playing today. Nice. Nice. I look forward to seeing you destroy everyone <laughs> we'll but me because I'm going to win. <laughs> Gentlemen, quick question. Are you guys going to win this tournament today? No. Easy. No. <laughs> but you're going to win. Easy. Like easy. You're going to tool everyone. Easy. Even me? Yep. I did last week, two weeks ago. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you. Cool. You're gonna be my first victim, all right? <laughs> Yo, make sure we pair first, please, Stein. Uh, I can't do that. Oh. If you're lucky, Ooh, the will bless you. They will. Shitty. They will. <laughs> They're gonna lose. All right, guys, so we just entered. We got five packs. Let's see what we pulled. I'm sensing a Revolution Synchro. That's what I'm sensing. All right, let's pull this Revolution Synchro right now. It's coming right now, guys. I can feel it. Revolution Synchro incoming. It's not bad, though. Not bad. We got a secret rare. Right? During your main phase, you could change his mind. I, I ain't reading all that. I'm glad, it, I'm happy for you, or I'm glad it happened, or I feel sorry. That's a whole essay, but it's a secret rare. Let's go. Guys, I finally understand what Sam's saying. These cards actually smell like the most beautiful <laughs> smell in the universe. Mm -hmm. They're actually so beautiful. And I just gotta say, Konami, you go down yourself with the smell of these. Can I smell my cards in peace? Is there a problem? No, I'll smell your cards. I would not like that. Okay, then I won't. So if I give this to you, you won't use draw for the tournament today. Guys, that sounds like a good deal to me. Talking about like for the rest of life. How many times you come into all these? Hi guys, I randomly found this OTS pack in my bag. Just a one up. <laughs> Yo, is this gonna be all T thrust? Huh? I just randomly found in my bags. Ulti thrust? thrust? Thrust comes ulti? Yeah, I, I pulled it yesterday. What the heck, bro? It just came out. Oh that my is... god! Is that a Warrock? Is that a Warrock card? No, it's a. Uh... Warrock! No, oh, that's a. Dude, no, that's a Infernoble card. That like that. Sadly, it's bad. But you know what? I pulled the ulti thrust yesterday, so it's all good. And I'm gonna pull it today, after I win. So let's go. Also. <laughs> It's time to do, 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 do Let's go, baby! What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? We are here back at Locals. Beautiful tattoos, Mr. Triff Gaming. We are going to duel. And I am playing Scareclaw Adventure. Good old reliable. One of my favorite decks of all time. Now, for this upcoming format, the deck I'm playing uh, for the next two YCSs, and that's right, I'm going to the next two YCSs! Oh, shit, I got hit with Nib, but Griffin protects me. But yes, I'm going to be going to the next two YCSs in Indianapolis, as well as Richmond, and, well, not Dortmund, the other two, and I'll be going with Manadium. So I'm going to go win and destroy everybody. So if you guys are hyped for that, let's go. Maybe if maybe maybe I'll play Pendulum, but nah. I do think any version of this Scareclaw Manadium deck is just absolutely absurd. Uh, as you saw there, like we played through Nibiru quite simply, and still ended on an unbreakable board. Now, Manadium does the same thing, except I just play even more defensive cards, which is even more better. And you have more, uh, a better turn one, a way better turn one, which is incredible. Uh, my opponent's on Purely. He scooped before I had a chance to see the, uh, the deck. That way I could blindside. And uh, he actually made me go first. So he's playing blind second Purely, uh, which I wasn't 100% sure if I'll be going first or second. But I sided, so at least I have some stuff anyways. I go Vice's Star Frost here. I'm playing a Magician Souls package as well, which is insane. It's pure Scareclaw. And damn, that playmat sexy. I'm playing on my Draco Slayer playmat there, where it's all my Draco Slayers destroying gigantic sprite. It's a little outdated. Yes, that's what sprite was meta. But oh my god, Draco Slayers, when Magic Spectres come out, this, this, they're just going to be absolutely so sexy together. I still kept in my Rusty package because I didn't know if he was going first or second. And as you see, yeah, that's right, I'm playing Rusty in here. I'm playing Phantom uh, Phantom Knights. The reason why is I let them stop to play around Talents and Thrust. I opt to get all my traps uh, to be my interruptions. Manadium can do the same thing. Manadium can very easily play Rusty as well. Because all you need is Barricade Blocker and any one Dark. And the whole deck is Darks everywhere. He just goes to Scareclaw, one, one Scareclaw monster is Dark. So you could get, so you could do this so you have Double Fog Blade set. Double Fog Blade makes it so you play around Talents and Thrust and all that shit. But if you end on a board of like, 
Baron, Bisco the Spider, Apollos, all that shit. Like, it's it's still, you might still have to resolve it. So he's playing purely, and I'm just saving my traps for when I need to. Keep in mind as well, my Floodgate, uh, my Fog Blaze cannot be used with the Field Spell. So the Field Spell uh, stops my the purely from being targeted. I can't really do shit. So I just have to, like, let him go there. Uh, luckily, though, uh, there's not much else he can do, just because... If you go into Zeus, uh, it all depends on the Zeus, uh, like, if, if he goes if he goes into Zeus at all. He opts to go for the Big Noir, which is a good play, because with the Big Noir, it could uh, get rid of a lot of stuff. Also, it's very fat. It's like 8+, plus, 9+, plus material. So my only answer to this is Scare Kashtira, because Scare Club Kashtira outs it, uh, because it doesn't, like, Scare Club Kashtira doesn't uh, uh, activate. So because Scare Club Kashtira doesn't activate, it's your out to uh, the Big Noir. Uh, another out I have, there's a few other outs, uh, but that's that's the most uh, safest out. Uh, this is just a scary Kishtira. So I'm checking out how many materials he has, and there's really no answer. Uh, with this setup, I can't really win much. So I think in my mind is, you know, if I could just go set four, uh, what's he going to do? Noir all my things. Uh, I don't think that'll be enough for him to end up winning the next one. So I go right Phobia to pop the field spell. And I'm just thinking, man, like I got to just figure out some way to out that. And uh, instantly he's just like, yo... And enter battle. He's like, yeah, he's gonna get rid of that. And I don't play uh, underworld goddess in this in this version. And then I, I'm I'm not gonna win this one, guys. <laughs> uh, or am I? He chains other two, and I chain fog blade. He chains other two, I chain imperm. Chains other two, I chain fog blade. <laughs> got your ass. I got the whole chat ch uh, ass because you all, all thought in like a non weird way. You all thought I was gonna lose there, but see, see that imperm double fog blade. So I baited him. I forced him to use the a a e purely noir. In order to do that and now i have a massive advantage because he's actually uh he, he's almost out of all of his monsters so i go scare to twin side hit those i let him add the three back to his hand because he only has one i i'm counting i think he only has one left of one noir left and uh that's all he has left so sorry he has one level one left there's no more that he has so he can no longer climb up or, or climb into any other cat that's the only one he has left and because he has nothing he wanted to go into in hand he just left it so now all I have to do is just out this one monster, and then I automatically win the game because he's out of uh, level once. And that way, the, what he has to do now is get into the trap, and the trap can't go to the grave unless it's... Uh, the trap can't go to the grave unless it's used. Uh, they don't play Unicorn or anything like that. So this is just automatically game. All I got to do is get that card off the field, and then he scoops because he had no other targets, so... Uh, great victory there. Absolutely amazing victory against Pierly. Uh, let's go straight into the next video. One round one. That was really tough. That was close. We are at the greatest pizza place known to mankind. Reginos. Love this place. So I'm going to go get some pizza. I'm going to fuel up for the next round. I'm going to win the next round. All right, guys. So the next few rounds are going to start pretty soon. I'm going to win. That's it. I just know I'm going to win this tournament. Uh, especially if I play your deck. No, I'm Nate Diaz. Your name Diaz? That means I get cooked round one, and then I go four row. That's it. Well, I'm Jake Paul. You, you fake your fights then. You fake your Jake Paul doesn't fake it. He's the GOAT. Who's not? Who's not? Do you guys think Jake Paul's the GOAT? Nah, bro. Nah, Tommy Fury? No, 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 no. Jake Paul's ass. Nah, dude, I like Jake Paul. Jake Paul's my man. So. Next round, I'm gonna start. Yo, that pizza was so good. Holy shit. Next duel! And guess who it's against? It's the shit talker from before. Mr. Charlie! Now, Charlie is playing a pretty cool deck. He's playing Sword Soul uh, Super Heavy Samurai. So it's pretty cool because it's most of the time can set up interruption uh, protection before you even go into the Sword Soul combo. So that is really cool. Uh, and let's see if my deck could beat it. Now, I had a hand trap. I decided to save it for later. He ends up going uh, Baron, Yazi, Shishao. Uh, let's see if, he could if I can stop this because he's going to put up quite a, a nice board here. With blackout as well. This is full combo. He's actually going to discard the blackout to go for a bigger board. Uh, uses up most of his hand there to go three synchros. Let's see if I can stop three synchros. He has two cards in hand. One's a follow-up. One's a potential hand trap. I go into right. He's like, nah, I got to get that out of there. I got uh, Faithful Adventure left. I, I don't. I can't win this, guys. It's too difficult. Because that card, the, the, the big synchro long yuan, stops too much stuff. So what I do, I special. I normally go Baron instantly. And I'm like, okay, I should enter battle, Baron attack Shisha. That's my train of thought in my mind. But if I go enter battle, he's going to chain. So I just decided to pop instead. I don't think that was a good play because I didn't get rid of the Shisha like that. I probably should have got rid of the Shisha. And then he's going to banish that. So I should have entered the battle phase. Always use your battle phase to stop interruptions. 
Uh, I just thought in my mind, if I did enter, we're, we're both literally talking about it right now. If I entered battle phase, what would happen? And my thought process of entering battle phase was it would be the same result. But this way, I would still have a Fenrir, uh, which is better than nothing. But as main phase two, there was a scenario I could have won. It's like a low scenario, but always use your battle phase when you can. Now, uh, I already know I'm going to win going first. My deck obliterates decks going first. Uh, also, because I, this version I'm playing hand traps, typically I actually don't play hand traps. I like board breakers. And so we're going to see how this is going to go basically against a combo deck. It's a very it's similar to Manadium, what I'm playing, but instead of the Manadium cards, I'm playing Red Every Miss here, more Souls, uh, a huge emphasis on going second to go Selene Access Code. And uh, the right package basically protects the Scareclaw package and ensures that you're going to be able to draw a lot. He draws me, fucking, what could you do? Whatever. So he draws me, I do Special Griffin. I do have a lot of hand traps as well, so this is a bonus of playing hand traps. He plays way better versus Droll. So I have Griffin and hand traps. Uh, let's see what he ends up doing. Uh, he, some of, he discards the best one, and this is the one that will uh, help him get Baron before anything. Uh, he summons Bistial. A Bistial will help him because he could attack the token. But on the summon, I actually use Draco back to equip to the token because he, he had that Bistial there, so he could just destroy the token and then still Griffin won't get a negate. Did you guys see that? Just because I had the Draco back there, it actually protected it. I allow, allow him to summon a Baron here. So he's going for a normal summon Baron because uh, he wants to stop the Griffin uh, quickly uh, before he actually does any plays. I, I have a hand trap in my hand as well. Uh, so I ended up actually, I used it, you can't see it because it's cut off, but I used the hand trap to negate Baron. And then I used Griffin uh, to negate. And then he he passed his turn. I think I go so good as well. Now he, he passed his turn. Now he, he can't do anything because uh, I'm not under Droll. And I'm just calculating here. Uh, I get Vice of Star Frost with Rag Phobia. I'm just calculating how could I, a good OTK under five cards or at least put up a Baron. So uh, I have the right, I have the Griffin. That was at the fourth summon. So this is OTK uh, uh, even against uh, uh, Nibiru. Access Code Baron. And that play there you guys saw of Dark, Special, Selene, Access Code. That is very typical of this deck. And that's one of the massive bonuses of... Basically playing a Manadium Scareclaw deck, but without Manadium, and the Manadium cards being uh, Enchantress, because now you're uh, Enchantress and Souls, because now you can go Charmer into Selene into Access Code, which means any one monster in your deck, sorry, any one Scareclaw in your deck, or any Rider of Emissier, essentially, essentially leads to Access Code just with one card. So being able to have access to that going second is absolutely insane. So let's see what Mr. Charlie does here. We actually have a fun little bet that the loser takes the winner's, uh, the winner gets the loser's deck. <laughs> that's right the winner gets the, the loser's entire deck so i guess this game three is uh quite important i guess so he does the best setup here for the deck where he sets up uh boxia this is the player on the bureau so he does all this player on the bureau which is a nice nice play goes chow fang into taie sets up uh sends boxia they don't want to synchro those now into into another boxia so he's gonna do a cool play he's gonna summon back that to get she shot if he wants an extra draw this will allow him to get a free draw from Moye. Uh, just do the special summon because Taya would send it. And I have six cards. I use zero hand traps. Go, go as long Yuan. I'm literally hoping he goes Baron. He ends up going Chen Ying. Uh, sorry, not Chen Ying. Big Long Yuan. And the big Long Yuan is the biggest problem for this deck. And of course, Droll. You mother trucker, bro. Droll obliterates this deck so bad, guys. I just throw him like I can't win with that. Droll obliterates the deck. There's nothing you can do. I guess I own the, the deck now. Guys, uh, we lost. Uh, what? I think I have to huh? give huh? you my deck now. Too bad I got my balls crossed. <laughs> I got him. I'm going to keep my deck and I'm going to win the rest of the tournament with it. Okay, so I did lose, so I think I need a new deck now. Uh, but that's all good. It's all good because uh, I own like 100. Most of which is Pendulum. But I'm going to go get another slice of pizza because like I said, we're going to get a slice every single round because it's the most delicious pizza ever. Uh, let's go. Now, that was delicious. Second pizza of the day. Going to go to your third after I win the next round. Easy. So we'll see what next round starts. We didn't win the last one, sadly, but we're about to win this one. So let's get it. Last round. Next round started. Round number three. Now, I didn't just lose round two. So this one, I'm almost considering like it's for, for, for funds just because like I can't finish first. And if you ain't first, you last. So let's see what happens. I'm playing trap tricks here. I imperm the first thing right away. Doesn't go into the link one. The second I see doesn't go into the link one, it tells me he might, he's, he's a new player. Uh, it's a, so I'm playing a player that's uh, quite new. And my deck's too powerful, bro. Like, like I'm playing the best deck. And if I'm playing a new player with this, like it's so easy to 
uh, capitalize on mistakes with the Scareclaw deck. I feel almost, I almost feel bad, bro, but I love winning, so I actually feel great. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna go foolish to send Fog Blade to set up a boot. Uh, Fog, foolish to send uh, boots get Fog Blade. Just a small little setup. I don't have to go overboard to play into different cards because I, I have Griffin and hand traps in hand and all this. So I'm like, screw it. My turn. I go for Reich. I'm just gonna go for the game and. I know you guys probably want to see the rest of this just because, like, it's a fun little duel, but uh, my opponent's pretty new, so I too owe him. It is quite fast, and now we're going to go on to the next round. <laughs> Alright, so we win that one. There's one more round to go. Uh, sadly, because we lost for the first time in history, uh, we can't win today. But we can still play for, for prizing and get some packs. So we're still going to stay in the tournament. Uh, we're going to win the next round and get some packs. So let's go. I, I know we're going to win because realistically, I'm only going to lose once every year. So I already lost. I took my loss for the year today. So I'll just never lose again. Uh, quite simple mathematics, really. And by following this mathematics, you just never lose. The last round's about to start. Are you ready to beat me? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can let that happen, but let's, let's see. Let's go. Last round. Shrift Gaming. Scareclaw against Kashtira. So I know what I'm playing against. And Kashtira, guys, this is without, like, this is with the Rise Heart. Keep that in mind. This matches with the Rise Heart. But nonetheless, a Rise Heart or not, uh, well, I just got shifted, by the way. Uh, sorry, guys, for the lack of, like, like, if you notice, I cut off the camera slightly at the top. My bad. I did that the whole video. I'll keep this in mind to improve for future videos. But uh, yeah, so we're under Shifter. And he has a choice if he wants to go a Rise Heart or not. But, like, He's literally under, I'm under shifter already, which is probably the best part of a rise heart. So he has to make that decision. My hand was useless. It was all hand traps. So I just scoop. He left at that and just passed. Uh, bro, I opened, it was like five hand traps. Uh, this is why I despise, I'm like, yo, fuck, I'm going to fucking do that shuffle. Because you open five hand traps, you're like, what the heck, bro? So this is a downside of hand traps. So you have to play more than one. I think I actually drew a very similar hand here where I did. I actually literally remember this duel will happen weeks ago. And I remember very vividly. I drew fucking all hand traps, bro. It's fucking insane. I even did this to discard uh, normal summon, discard the right. Uh, he's books that. I have all hand traps. Uh, I have fog blade. He dusters. Too many bricks, bro. It was after this duel that I just scrapped the fog blade idea. But the fog blade idea is still really good because it plays into uh, board breakers way better. Uh, but similarly, hand traps is not it. If you're going to play fog blade stuff, it's definitely better by to utilize board breakers because... By playing hand traps, you're forced to play way more hand traps than just one or two or three or whatever. He's play, he's trying to play around the bureau right now, which is a great play from him. I don't even I think I even had it too. And he played around it the whole time. My only win con is him using nib, uh, uh, playing into nib. And he decides not to, and he passes on nothing. And of course, I draw nothing, which is insane because the deck has thirty starters. So <laughs> I end up losing this one, guys, two two. And that's reason enough to me to scrap a deck. Like if you go two wins, two losses at a locals. Like, like where you should have easily go 4-0 if your deck performed how it should that's time to not scrap a deck but switch up the deck so this tells me playing 21 hand traps in a 60 card deck but i'm 60, playing 60 cards with fog blade and 21 hand traps it's just not it so just by reducing this you can still play the deck at 60 it's probably the best to, to be honest but just by redu reducing the bullshit removing all the hand traps playing like instead of hand traps are so shit and of course, I draw Scarecrow at the very end, and then the Red MD is just going to kill me. But hey, it is what it is. I still love locals, and I still love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Pen best deck, Manadium second best deck. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. In the next one, I think I'm still playing Scare. No, the next one I'm playing Synchron. So the next locals, you're going to see Synchron. That's beautiful. Let's go. Sleep, bro. I got slapped. Holy fuck. And of all decks, Kostira, the one deck we obliterate every single time. Uh, bro, my hand was so shit every game. And you want to know why? I'll tell you why we've been destroying Kashtira. It's because we weren't playing hand traps. We were simply playing Talents, Econ, like all this shit like, that obliterates that deck. So it doesn't matter if you're winning the dice roll or losing the dice roll. It's irrelevant. Open one of them, you win the game. And we're playing 50, like 12 of them in 60. And if you don't open them, you destroy the deck anyways. Moral of the story today is remove your hand traps. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to go get some sleep now. Uh, because uh, we just lost to Kashtira for the first time in history. Oh, and one more thing. Not only did we lose today, but we literally put our shirt on backwards. So, uh, what? what? <laughs> Anyways, good day. Later, guys.